in this video I'm going to access the storage of my Android device um, on my Linux operating system I'm going to connect my mobile device via a USB cable you know Android devices are keen access to their storage via something called media transfer protocol so in order to access it you need to have a MTP client in Windows and many other popular Linux distributions MTP client already available you just have to plug in your phone and it will show up in the file manager mine does not so if your distro does not support Android devices or the existing MTP client does not work with your Android device you can try this tutorial to try uh, a dif different MTP client now in this video I found few solutions there is Android file transfer it will not create a file system but it will open up a GUI where you can uh, um, move and uh, change your stuff from your mobile I don't think it's a stable application because I tried to copy some stuff and it crashed itself so I'm not going to use that MTPFS I tried that uh, it totally failed to mount my device JMTPFS however it um, it worked perfectly I copied around a 60 GB from my PC to device now because we are going to build and install JMTPFS you need to have build uh, tools so install build essentials if you are from Debian or Ubuntu distribution this is the package if you are from Arch Linux you need to install base DL base DL or whatever once they are on your system you can proceed to install gmtpfs dependencies there are two fuse and libmtp so fire up a terminal window use the package manager once that's done let's go to the repository download the project or clone it I already have it on my system here you will find a install file you can see we need to configure it first then install it that's exactly what I'm going to do right now I'm going to run configure script configuration is done now you can make it and finally install you can see binary is moved to user local bin that means I can access it from anywhere if I type jmtpfs you can see it's in green that means the binary is available now I'm going to go to my home directory I created a, a folder called Android that's where I'm going to mount my device so now, now it's the time to um, plug in your phone and set it to file transfer mode and let's use gmtpfs to mount the device the target is Android directory all the folder hit enter you can see it's uh, mounted the device in the file manager you can see the internal storage now let's copy from PC to mobile something I'm going to copy this image from my PC go back to Android internal storage I'll paste it to download like this you can see it's available now the other way around let's copy something from pictures to PC I'll copy this go to the home directory go to photos I'll paste it here like that yes you can see it's available so that's how you mount your device 
now let's see how we can unmount it so it, you can unplug the mobile device from your PC. You can use U mount to unmount and the target. Cool, the device has unmounted. Now you can unplug the mobile device. So that's how you uh, access the storage from um, from your operating Linux operating system. That's it. Have a nice day.